So would you like to add color swatches into your products inside Shopify? I'm going to show you how to get started totally for free. So guys, welcome back to TechPress. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in a very easy, easy way. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to make sure that you have an actual Shopify active store. So I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally free into Shopify. And once you have claimed your actual store, then we can move on with the next step, which is adding an application. So first of all, what you want to do is to install the application swatches into the Shopify store. Let's get into applications and here you're going to go into the upper side and just type the keywords of the application you wanted to help with. For example, in this case, call swatches. I'm going to search this into the Shopify app store and it's showing you a lot of applications that we can just get started with. Usually, you can just try with Glow Color because Glow is totally for free and you don't have to pay absolutely anything. Uh, so you're going to hit into install. You can try it out with so much more applications that are totally free. Just make sure that they actually don't come with an actual paid plan. Well, that's totally optional. So now we're going to hit into install. Let's now focus into configure the color options. After you have installed the Swatchify application or you added, in this case, the Glow Color Swatch variant images, then what you wanted to do is to follow the prompts to configure the color options of the product. So you can add swatches for each color variant and customize the swatches appearance to match your store branding. Now, in this case, what I wanted to do is to apply the app and beam directly into the live one. So I'm going to hit into Origin Live Theme go to the theme editor and we just needed to enable whatever we're going to be doing here into the actual variant inside the editor so as you can see here this one is now been enabled so i'm going to go back here into save make sure you click into save and now let's head back now as you can see here we only have an actual free plan of seven days so i'm going to hit now into the application should be english and the color you see that we have the color a custom image is swatched this one should be now enabled and the sizes, of course, this one should be looking as a button or a drop down list, depending on how is the element you want to get started with. Now, lastly, what you want to do is to sync to your online store. So I'm going to hit into sync my online store. So all my data, all my product, all the variants I have just get started with should be appearing here and to down the syncing. So let's hit into save. And as you can see, the glow color swatches has now been already been enabled. Now what I want to be doing here is to edit the appearance of an actual product. If you focus here into the left part, you can see that we have different appearance collection of one product. We have the appearance product, we have product groups, uh, the theme integration, which we have done that already been uh, enabled a few seconds ago. And lastly, I'm going to go back into the appearance product. Now what I'm going to be here doing is to make sure that I do have enabled uh, how it's going to be looking the button code no, for example the button size should be big or medium size rounded or pale or just sharp so i think i to just leave this like that the button spacing you can just make it bigger or shorter so you can see i'm just trying to add an element into my actual products so check out how it actually looks for the actual current size align the call into the center or into the right pod usually everybody does the left pod and I hit into sync to my data now of my product. And I want to make sure that the color swatches appear in here. Now, uh, as you can see, what we can do is to enable or select in a specific section of my product. To edit that, go into my online store. Let's get into customize. And directly to customize, what you want to do is to focus into the product you're actually working in, the variant picker. And I'm going to move this into the upper side. So as you can see here, I have now this section enabled so i can change this for drop down and i have now the color so it actually looks much more better and i hit now into save if i wanted to enable much el more elements of course i needed to add this directly into the color swatch variant image and when i select an actual image when i select an, a specific configuration of a color i should be seeing the preview of how it's going to be looking the image so lastly, you need to preview and publish. Before making your changes live, you wanted to use the Shopify preview features to make sure that this actual color pack is actually working. And when you clicked into the swatches, the image make those changes when you just get started like this and ensure they work as expected. Test different product variants and devices to identify the issues and inconsistencies. So don't hesitate to iterate and make adjustments based on the customer feedbacks and usability, guys. And there you have it. It's actually not that hard. 
So guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give it to you share, subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, we can all see you into a brand new video of Tax Press. See you next time.